Angela Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be on top 10 dangers to chinchillas when they're out for playtime. So I thought I would do this video just to help you guys be aware of the things to avoid when you let your chinchilla out for playtime because it's very important to make sure they have a safe environment and that nothing's going to harm them. So these are just some things that you should watch out for and then hopefully find ways to prevent your chinchilla from getting to. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. By the way, I do have a cold, so that's why my voice sounds a little weird. But anyway, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to watch out for is wires or cords or any kind of electrical thing that your chinchilla can get to, like phone chargers or lamps or anything like that. Make sure your chinchilla cannot get to those and that they don't have access because if they chew through, which they can very easily, they have very sharp teeth, they can electrocute themselves or you know, just get some toxins in there that really are not safe for chinchillas. So make sure that you are hiding all of them. One thing that you can do is either just block them off from any kind of wires, take them, unplug them, and like put them up so your chinchilla can't have access, or put them through, what's it called? Like these tubes right here, this is like a paper towel tube. You know, make sure there's no more paper towel on it, and then just use the tube inside and use however many you need to. That's a little extra, but honestly it works. So if that's what you need to do, do it. Just make sure your chinchillas cannot get to wires or cords or anything like that. The second thing is a bit weird, but I'm going to say it because this used to be a problem for me and it's drywall. So if you don't know what drywall is, it's basically just what walls are made of. And I don't know if you remember, but we didn't used to have moldings along the door here. It just used to be open and the drywall was just sticking out. I cannot tell you how many times I've forgotten to block it off and Marilyn would go and take a chunk and I would have to chase them around in the laundry room. Like, that was so bad. But basically, make sure that you are keeping away from drywall and that's very, very toxic for them. And if you have walls that have like the popcorn texture, which I'll put a picture if you don't know what that is, but it's just a popcorn texture, your chinchilla can actually chew bits straight off from the wall and run off with those. So make sure that if you have any part of the room that's not, you know, that it's exposed to, any corners or whatever, that your chinchilla cannot get to them. So the next thing is other pets, and I know that, like, such as dogs or cats or anything, and I know that a lot of people have their chinchillas be coexist with their dogs or their cats, and they think it's fine or whatever, but I always say just stay away from it because, first of all, they could attack at any second, like, you never know, they're wild animals not wild animals but they're animals so you don't know what they're thinking and they can attack your chinchilla at any second and you'll really regret it another thing is your chinchilla could get very stressed out even if they don't show it they could get very stressed out from having other animals around them and then thirdly especially if you let your dogs or cats outside and then they have contact with your chinchilla you are exposing your chinchilla to bad stuff outside that you don't even know what's gonna how it's gonna affect them because they are domesticated, they've probably never been outside in their life, and here they're being exposed to a ton of stuff. So just keep your other pets away from your chinchilla. The fourth thing is sharp objects. So this is pretty obvious, but <laughs> just keep your chinchilla away from sharp objects because obviously they can cut themselves very easily, and they're very small and fragile, and if they just run and then slice their leg on like a thumbtack or something sticking up from your carpet, it's definitely going to be painful for them. So. Obviously, just quickly sweep around, make sure there's no sharp things just sticking out. And that goes the same for their cage. Make sure there's no toys like this. I should probably consider either clamping that shut or just taking this out. Anything in their cage that's sharp and that could potentially cut them, make sure it's just out of the picture. The fifth thing is potted plants. And the reason for this is that some of the plants could be toxic or poisonous to chinchillas. We don't even know all the plants out there that are bad for them. But just keep them away. You never know and you just want to play it safe. Plus, it's fresh, so it might, you know, fresh plants or fresh vegetables, stuff like that just probably aren't the best version of those in the first place. So, definitely watch any potted plants that you have on the ground that they can have access to. The thing is human food, and I'm just going to say this because sometimes you might have crumbs. I don't know where you guys have playtime. In this room, there's no food in here. But sometimes you might have crumbs, or if you're eating on a plate or whatever, and you leave it on the floor, and your chinchilla goes and starts eating the rest of the remains. I don't know. Make sure that you are not having any human food around your playtime area, or around the cage, because for obvious reasons, chinchillas cannot be eating human food. It's bad for them. It's not, you know, it's not like, oh, let me just feed my cat this piece of bread and he'll be fine. Like, chinchillas are a lot more delicate and fragile than cats or dogs. 
So the sixth thing is carpet. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot have chinchillas running around in a room with carpet. This room has a rug and then the bigger room that I let him out in has carpet all over. But I'm just going to tell you this, make sure that you watch your, that your chinchilla isn't pulling out the bits or the fibers of the carpet, such, I don't even know if you can see that, such as this or like the little fibers. Let me zoom in here. So you can see like these little fibers here. Make sure they're not pulling them out and swallowing them because it could block up the tract system, their digestive, and really, really mess them up. So, and it could also get in their throat and get stuck. So very, be very careful if you see your chinchilla messing with the carpet or swallowing anything, make sure that they are not touching it. The next thing is heat. And I, I just always stress this. This is a very big danger to chinchillas because it can easily get out of hand. Like if you just turn your AC off at my house for about 30 minutes, it could go from 70 degrees to 89 extremely fast. So make sure that you are keeping a moderate temperature for chinchillas between 62 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit in your chinchilla room and that it is nice and cool for them and they don't get overheated. The ninth thing is painted wood. Now, sometimes it's going to happen that your chinchilla will be out and they're just going to chew like on a molding with paint or a bookcase or a desk or something and they'll have a little bit of that. Don't stress out too bad about this. Don't like freak out and take your chinchilla to the vet right away if they've had a small nibble because chances are it's not gonna be super toxic for them. But make sure they aren't continually chewing it and constantly getting away with little bits of finished or painted wood because obviously those chemicals are bad for humans but imagine if they're digested or taken in by chinchillas. So. Definitely watch out for painted wood if you need to, even block off the desks in your room or whatever to make sure your chinchilla can't get to it. The last thing is chemicals, and as what I mean by chemicals is just like cleaning supplies or soaps or air fresheners that you have plugged into the wall outlets or anything like that. Keep your chinchilla away from them for obvious reasons because they're toxic and especially for their lungs and if they get any in their mouth, it's just not good for them. So I used to let Merlin out here to play in the laundry room and as you guys can see, there is a bleach bottle right there. That one is actually empty, but it's still like, I don't think there's any bleach around the cap or anything, but it is still dangerous to Merlin. So that's why, and we use it to block the door when the door opens so it doesn't slam into the AC. But basically, we I no longer have playtime in this room with Merlin anymore. I always go into the other room. And that's just because, you know, the other room's a lot safer because there's just like a mop with chemicals, the bleach right there, a bunch up there, like, I don't know. Basically, just make sure you keep your chinchilla away from chemicals and whatever room you're in that they don't have access to like perfume or lotion. Okay, all right. So I think I'm gonna end this video right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. That was 10 things, 10 dangers that you should make sure your chinchilla avoids when they're left out for playtime. And yeah, without further ado, I will see you in the next video. As soon as I catch this little guy, because he's going. Wow, that was actually super smooth.